Hey guys, Danika here with EC Woodworks. Today's DIY is going to be this mosaic art behind me here. I'm going to show you a couple tricks and tips on how to build your first one. I love everything about this DIY and I'm super excited to share it with you. So your first step you're going to need to do is cut your plywood into a square or a rectangle or whatever space you're trying to do and then find the center of it. So go ahead and set your saw to 45 degrees. Now take all of your scraps and cut just the slightest bit off the end so that they are all 45 degrees. And then we'll get to putting them on. So the reason why I never throw anything out is because you would think that this is old trim, but the fact that it has got the rivets in it and the grooves that it does makes for a really cool piece on your mosaic art as well as end cuts of plywood. So normally you'd wanna see this side of the plywood, but I like to see all the little glue pieces because I usually sand these and stain them and that way they don't look exactly the same and they've got a bit of texture going through them. It's a really cool way to add texture to your mosaic piece instead of just using flat stock. This just gives it a little bit of variation. So starting off, you're going to take two of your pieces, put them together to create a 90 degree angle, repeat this, and then repeat it and repeat it and <laughs> repeat it. I suggest not going too fast though, do three or four dimensions, hold them down and draw the bottom line, take them off and cut them on your miter saw. That way you're not confused when you have like 400 pieces to cut um, and then you can kind of do it in phases. I found this a little bit easier. So when you start out, you obviously need much longer pieces, but then keep all of the scraps cut from those pieces because nearing the end of your mosaic art, you're only going to need like two and three inch. At this point, you can continue on and make a really cool X formation all the way to the end, but I decided to take two of my end points and cut a full triangle just to add a little bit of dimension. My favorite part about mosaic art is that it can literally be anything that you create. Do you want to put them on 45s? Do you want to put them on 30s? The more you build these art pieces, the more intricate you can get. But there's some really cool ideas online. And as simple as that, just two pieces put vertically versus diagonally. And it's just going to add a lot more depth to my piece. So you can either paint your pieces first, but what I like to do is lay it all out and then decide what pieces I'm going to paint what color. So I took all the pieces out that I wanted to do white, I sprayed them, but not overly thick because I'm going to do this piece slightly sanded, a little bit softer, so all of the paint that I used is just going to be rubbed on and then sanded off. A trick that you could use is labeling the back of your pieces um, so you're not struggling like I did to try and figure out a big puzzle of what goes where. Once that's all said and done, you can leave it. You can make your pieces as bold or as colorful as you want. But I, like I said, am doing it slightly softer, so I sanded off all of my pieces once the paint was fully dry. Well, I almost sanded off all of it. When I knew I wasn't going to be doing any more sanding, that's when I glued all of my pieces back onto the plywood and then took my finished nail gun and just nailed them in place. A couple of hours later, once everything was set and dry, I squared up my plywood so that I was ready to frame it. So I just took about a quarter of an inch off to make sure that everything would go on smoothly. I ripped on my table saw a two inch border, cut it all on 45 degrees, and sanded, stained, and glued it onto the mosaic art. So you'll notice a couple of changes in my canvas. Um, I added a little bit of blue and a couple of squares just to give it a bit more depth. When I put it on the wall, it was a little flat, and that just topped it off perfectly.
If you're new to my channel, so am I. So I'd really appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Click the little bell. I know you hear every YouTuber say that. Am I even a YouTuber? I don't know. But I would really appreciate it. See you next time.